weeks. Limited time offer. Join now. Jenny works. Start today. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. When severe weather strikes, get critical information through Storm Center on our app, website, and TV channel. Stay ahead of active weather. Go beyond the weather and go deeper on the stories that matter to you with experts who know. And this is probably some of the highest snowfall rates I think I've ever seen. Join us weekday mornings at 23 past the hour on the Weather Network. That's not rain. It's actually gruffle in Nanaimo, British Columbia, and temperatures are going to cool down. If you're in British Columbia and then the prairies, extreme cold still lingering on. Hi, I'm Victoria Fen Alvarado, and thank you for joining us here at the Weather Network. We do have warmer conditions set for the Atlantic part of Canada and in the uh, Ontario, southern Ontario could be seeing um, a little bit of mixtures of rain to freezing rain through Ottawa and up north some snow. We do have battle of the temperatures though, and I'm not alone. We have two meteorologists with us in the left corner. Michael Nugent and in the right corner Rachel Modestino now the temperatures in British Columbia are going to cool down and Michael I want to ask you how cool are we going to get we're gonna be looking at temperatures about 12 10 degrees below normal for our Tuesday afternoon across many city centers in British Columbia. We've got this Arctic high to the north with a northeasterly flow bringing in much colder temperatures than normal. We'll see combined with this cold temperatures, gusty winds of 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. That'll make for some cold wind chills Tuesday overnight. Just looking at our temperatures for Tuesday, you can see hope 12 degrees below normal. We're barely cracking that freezing mark for the city of Vancouver. And where we also have very cold temperatures is our prairie provinces. We are gonna be looking at temperatures 15 to 20 degrees below normal. 
Not much in the way of precipitation for the day on Tuesday. We'll have some flurry activity Wednesday evening and overnight. Edmonton pushing south towards Calgary. And then we will see our temperatures bump up heading into our Friday. Oh, bitterly cold across the prairies. Luckily, I'm in southern Ontario and we had a beautiful Monday. Family Day Monday looked just like this. This is in Hamilton sunshine, beautiful temperatures. The temperatures are going to remain for Tuesday. A little bit of a cool down later, but the Atlantic side, that's an extreme warm up. Rachel, tell us about the warm up. Yeah, would you rather have bitter cold temperatures and sunshine or about our spring like temperatures and rainfall. We have mixed precipitation inbound for sections of Ontario through Tuesday, pushing into areas of Quebec later on your Tuesday, lingering into Wednesday morning, and then we'll see all of that messy precipitation in the Maritimes come your late Tuesday. But have a look at these temperatures. We'll be watching for double digits along the Lake Erie shorelines throughout your Tuesday. That could even push into the city of Toronto Tuesday overnight, but these temperatures will be very dramatic and extreme in Atlantic Canada. Have a look at Fredericton. This bump up on your Wednesday, 23 degrees. And then in a short 24 hours, 21 degrees right back down. That is some dramatic temperature swings. We could possibly be seeing some stress when it comes to our drainage systems, ice jams, in addition to all of that snow melt that will be underway. We've already seen flooding in parts of southern Ontario, Brampton, Ontario being one of the places that got hit extremely hard. The Maritimes also have been seeing some flooding. And would you say it's a good idea to start uh, taking the ice out of your storm drains if you are in an area with that? Of course, yes. If you're in Atlantic Canada, you still have some time. Shovel out those storm drains, get all of that slush out of the way because we'll be watching for about 20 to 30 millimeters of rainfall for southern New Brunswick. And what about Ontario? How much rainfall are we looking at there for your Tuesday? Yeah, we will be seeing about 5 to 20 millimeters of rain blanketed across southern Ontario. A lot of this will be coming for your Tuesday evening commute around the GTA, so do be prepared for quite a rainy commute as you head home. Well, there you have it, everybody. The battle of the temperatures, whether you're in the East Coast or the West Coast, that is everything that you need to hear. Thank you very much to Rachel and Michael for being with us.